Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Kritsanat Bunyan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting of the Red Connor, 28 years of age. He's done at 178 centimeters tall and weighing with it and 59.6 pounds. He, for a column of 64 wins, 33 losses, and one draw. He is Isuzu tournament champion and former the BBC Muay Thai champion and former Thai fight champion representing Song Kla Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Satan Fall. Opponent fighting of the blue corner, 34 years of age. He's standing at 185 centimeters tall and weighing at an hour 59.6 pounds. He will record a 36 win, 12 losses, and two draws. He is UK fighter of the year 2022, ISKA world champion, and the WMO European champion, representing England. Let's hear it for Joe. Satan Fass, Song Pinong, the RWS stalwart, the regular taking on the debutant Josh Hill, a rematch. Ooh. Man, right away, Josh showing us why he deserves to be here. Exactly, and two years ago when he fought Kong Jack, he was a late replacement fight, and he did defeat Kong Jack in that fight. So he's no slouch. He's looking every bit of that 160 pound fighter now. Going up from super welterweight. He looks a lot bigger than Satan Far. Ooh. Of course, Satan Far will most probably be the more powerful out of the two. But Josh with that unorthodox style could definitely cause trouble to Satan Far. Yeah, 100%. Of course, he did cause him big troubles the last time Ooh. they met when he knocked him out. But Southern Bar know that he possesses power as well. We've seen mixed displays from Saturn Bar here on RWS. Sometimes he's looked world class, sometimes he's just looked just a little bit below standard. You never really know what you're going to get from him, but when he is firing on all cylinders, he is a threat to anyone at welterweight or at middleweight. Yeah, absolutely. He's just one of those fighters that. If he's having a good day, trust me, you do not want to be standing in front of him. But if he's not having a good day, though, you can't really recognize Satan Fire. Now, the question is, will Josh be the bad day for Satan Fire or not? Well, Josh concentrating on throwing that left kick, that lift, left middle kick to Satan Fire over and over again. And there you go, once again, trying, trying to frustrate Satan Fire. Satan Fire still not really able to connect anything significant. Josh, with the left kick once again. Yeah, swinging left hand there from Satanfar, but Josh fighting well off that back foot. Jumping knee there from Satanfar. Josh though connecting again with that left kick to the body. See a pattern of play emerging right now. Mm. It's difficult for Satanfar. You can see he wants to push forward, but he knows he's going to walk into that left kick. Now, absolutely, and like I said, not easily, not easy to get inside against somebody like Josh, constantly throwing that left kick over and over. And you can see now Satan Fah not even pushing forward as he had trouble getting through that kick. Josh, again with the left kick, two times, three times in a row. Almost Way. fighting, it's almost like a tie. At the Absolutely. Moment. He's found that one technique that's working and he's going for it over and over again. Satan Fah hasn't really been able to do anything about it, unfortunately. So far, way too easy for Josh. Satan Fah needs to do some adjustments. He needs to do it ASAP. There you go, blocking that left kick that time. Tempted to throw a right kick of his own, but missing. Ooh. There you go, Josh gets taken down, but well, the round is over. Sutton fan looked confident towards the end. 
I guess we'll leave it to the judges and see how they score it. But in my eyes, Josh Hill landing that left kick over and over and over. Sure, we started on the score class then as well. Josh already back to his feet, raring to go out here in round number two. Well, it's going to be interesting now because if Satanfa believed that the way he fought the first round was the right way, he might as well not be even, not do anything more and that could yeah. be an opportunity for Josh Hill because he's definitely not going to be happy with that decision. All right, let's see what happens now in round number two. Ooh. Right kick to the body there by Satanfa. Much better coming from the Thai fighter. Taking his time, blocking that left kick now. Ooh. Josh looking for elbows. Ooh. More aggressive as he needs to be. Left knee there oh. by Satafar oh. within the clinch. He's got his arms locked. See Josh trying to re clinch. Look for more knees of his own. Mm. Satafar looking very relaxed. Yeah, Locking now, that left kick, there you go. He is defending that, that left kick perfectly now. Josh not really able to land anything significant. Oh, Do you almost. believe that was over two steps? The ref won't call it. But to his feet, Josh in the center of the ring, pushing forward. Looking to land that left kick. He will, not really powerful yet though. Oh, he walked straight into that right kick to the body, did Josh. Oh, oh. Look at spinning back fist, and why not? Back into the clinch now. Josh, the taller of the two. He can't really fire off any knees. Mm. That was good defensive work there by Saturn Father. And, and again, good hand control. And off balancing Josh as well. Yeah, good defense, good control now from Saturn. Saturn Father, of course. Confidence in his skills, in defending and controlling the fight. Woo -hoo -hoo. Another spinning back fist attempted there too now by Josh. Yeah, now Josh looking a little bit all over the place. He needs to stay focused and stay in the fight. See Josh pushing forward oh. again. Looking for that spinning, spinning back fist. Not He's getting sure. a little bit closer every time. Yeah, not landing just yet though. Satanfa is still fighting on the back foot. In control. And the spinning elbow once again three times in a row. Knees to the body there by Josh, just one minute left on the clock. Good urgency though, being shown by Josh. Ooh. Good right hand there by Josh. Yes, Satan fight. very defensive this round. I'm surprised the, the ref hasn't called for more action as well. Looking for an elbow there, but blocked by Satan Far once again. And again, blocking Ooh. the knee strikes attempted by Josh is Satan Far. Good defensive look by the tie. Ooh. Right kick to the body, attempted right hand by Josh, blocks the left kick. Yeah, and you can see the, the adjustment, adjustment done by Satan Far blocking the kick, and that just literally changed everything. Now, Josh, the fact that he's not able to land that left kick, and it seems like he kind of gave up on throwing it as well. Well, Satanfar is in defensive mode right now and it's working for him. So I guess why change it? End of round number two. Josh, well, he's raising his hands, he thinks he's done enough. Tough ass though after round number one, is very similar style. Even more defensive work by Satanfar. I mean, Josh was doing everything in his power to try and get through. Pierce that defense. But it the draw. So if Josh can score and win this round in favor, in the eyes of judge two and three, he will win the fight. Well, let's find out who will be the victor of this round and this fight. Saturn uh -oh. Oh, urgency here by Josh. Ooh. Not so much from Saturn Far. Yeah, still taking his time, fighting on the back foot. Oh, and you can see Josh Hill. One, two combinations from Josh, left kick. Satafar looking for a knee, but he's being backed into the corner here by the urgency of the English Josh Hill. Josh Hill switch stance, fighting as an orthodox fighter right now. Ooh, big right kick, good catch, oh. and the takedown, not oh. yet. He said that RWX is the home of the middleweights. So you can see Josh, mm. he wants to be in the Rajana Stadium rankings. And of course, a win here tonight would probably put him in said rankings. 
talking about just really taking his time. Fighting like he's already won the fight. That's what I was about to say, he's fighting like he did in round number two, in which it was a round that he lost. <laughs> so I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> No explanation to be given by us for sure. And now, like Aaron said, Josh with the urgency trying to win this fight. Satan Fa with a good kick of his own and the spinning, spinning elbow that perhaps is the strike that made him win the previous round. Absolutely, it was the activity as well. And the lack of activity, dare I say, by Sassafar is just sitting back. Well, now this is going to be interesting how the judges will see this. How oh, will they score this? Oh, back kick there. Sassafar doing literally nothing but defending himself right now. Perhaps waiting for the last few seconds of the round. Well, he's got 90 seconds to try and impose himself on this third round. Mm. So far, a round that seems to be in favor of Josh. But again, it might be well, wrong. <laughs> based on what we saw in round yeah, two. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Right Following now, the similar path. Josh being the more aggressive. Good kick. Satan Fa, I'm not, I don't understand why is he fighting this way right now. We've seen him being a top of the division, but right now so defensive. Really taking his time, looking for the right opportunity. Josh was looking oh, at his corner. Oh, right kick. That will score highly. Definitely the kick of the round for Satan Fa. 40 seconds left on the clock. Let's not forget, coming up next, the super fight is almost upon us. Left kick there by Josh. Last 30 seconds of the round. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised <laughs> that the referee hasn't spoke to Saturn for a little bit more. I 100% agree with you, Aaron. I know that people watching around the world who criticise him saying, well, oh, on the back foot, it's not my time. Well, I'm sorry, but RWS rules state that fighters, and if they continually are on the back foot, then they need to have a word with the referee. So, well, Saturn for asking for more action, but it seems like Josh was the, was the one engaging now. Very interesting round. Satan Fa seems very happy with his performance as well as Josh Hill. So we'll have to see who will be the victor of this fight. I'm not sure you can stand on the back foot and then gesture that. Anyway, both fighters think they've won the fight. Someone is going to be highly disappointed. Oh, for sure. For sure. Let's have a look at the replay that happened throughout this fight. There's the big right kick coming from Satan Fa, and of course those spinning back face and spinning elbows coming from Josh Hill. You can see Josh almost taking Satan Fa down. Right kicks from Satan Fa, a lot of left kicks coming in from Josh Hill. There's that right hand from round number one. I think that was the third spinning back fist of round number two that almost connected to Satan Fa. All right. Let's see how the judges have scored it. Ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of Boy Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. The first judge scored is about. 29 to 28. The second just got 28 to 29. And the last just got 29 to 28. Declaring your winner by way of split decision!